Hi there, and let's get to it. Today, we're going back to the audio controls inside the edit page and looking at how to mix audio tracks together and also how to start keyframing volume and pan levels. So I've got a couple of background tracks, some music for the pub scene that we're about to work on and some background noise. I'll go back into the edit page and now I'm going to grab my background sound, which is the crowd talking and drop that into the background. Now I want to see the waveforms for this audio track, so I'm going to go into my timeline view options, show audio waveforms, and maybe also adjust the size of the audio track so I can see it better. Just going to move the video out of the way. Now right now I'm looking at stereo sound, but I'm only seeing one waveform. Uh, that's the default preview option. If you'd like to change that and view both channels separately, you can activate this by right-clicking on the clip and choosing Display Individual Audio Channels. You can now zoom in to display all available channels. This applies to surround sound as well. With my audio selected, I can go into the inspector and I have volume and pan controls. So I can start off with negative 12 and see how that goes. So that's definitely made the crowd a bit better. I should also probably go into my first audio track and amend the volume on that as well. But I've got so many clips now, it feels like it would be a lot of work to have to go through all of these individually and control their values. So what would be easier to do is to control the entire track. So to bring up the controls for the tracks, you'll have to reveal the audio meter channel and you can then select your track mixer. This now shows you the levels of all of your tracks and you can see the names of the tracks here corresponding the names of the tracks on the left hand side. To make a change to my volume, I'm going to grab the slider and pull up the meter or you can click on the numbers and type in a value and then play it back to check how the volume corresponds. Oh, thanks very much. I know you were drink. I know you meant. All right, let's get one more bit of audio media in here. And this time we're gonna use keyframing to mix it with the rest of the scene. I'm going to hide my audio meters for now and drag and drop the soundtrack to the pub in the background. Uh, so instead of going into track mixer, I can go into clip mixer. It's going to look exactly the same, but this time the meters are going to be reflecting the clips that the playhead is currently on top of. So if I move down a little bit, you can see that these are going to change and jump around. Uh, now the soundtrack is really, really loud. So I'm going to bring it all the way down. Mr. Joseph. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> so here's the trick with editing a soundtrack or diegetic sound in a film. You're going to have to fluctuate the volume of the song as people talk. Mr. Joseph. Oh, thanks very much. I know you were drink. So when someone stops talking is when you can bring the music back in. I'm going to open up the keyframe editor of this clip. So I'm just going to get rid of my meters once again. And just like with the video clips, I have access to a curves editor that's capable of being keyframed. So I'm going to wait for him to deliver his line. Oh, yeah. And then I'm going to have the music go up after they've stopped talking. So I usually give this around 6 to 12 frames based on how natural I can get it to sound. You don't want it to be a really obvious fade in. And there it is. That's my sound going up as he finishes talking. Oh, thanks very much. I know you were drink. I know you meant. So the volume's gone up pretty subtly. And you would normally go through the entire soundtrack or all the audio clips and place keyframes everywhere. So up and down and up and down, wherever people start talking, you want to make sure you dip it. Whenever they stop, you bring the sound back in. When you're done matching all the audio clips to each other and you're done keyframing inside of the clips is when you want to go to the master clip and either control its general audio inside of the track mixer uh, or also access its keyframes and fluctuate that audio if you need to. Thank you very much for watching and until next time.